A lot of people thought that the, the dictators were, they couldn't really understand us. Like if you, if you saw the Ramones and you listened to the Ramones, you got it. You got it. it and they were brilliant, amazing musicians. And the, and the thing is about it, uh, you, you look at the dictators and you just couldn't kind of put your finger on what the dictators were about. I mean, songs and we'd have a little heavy metal in it and we have rock and roll and have a punk rock in it. So I think that we were a little too punk for the metal crowd and a little too metal for the punk crowd. We started in the 70s. We were one of the first uh, punk bands that existed. Um, we came right at the tail end of the New York, New York Dolls era, before the Ramones. We were just three bands in New York that had record contracts at the time. It was Kiss, the Dictators, and the New York Dolls. And then we started playing CBGBs, and it was just, the rest is history. All hell broke loose. All these great bands were playing there. The Ramones, the Talking Heads, Blondie. It was just awesome. Being in New York at the time was awesome. Honestly, I didn't think I was going to make it to this age. You know, there was so much insane stuff going on back then. I didn't think, I mean, I really wasn't thinking about 2011. <laughs> Not a chance. We never broke up. That's the thing. We still haven't broken up. So we're still able to, to come out and play and, and really uh, do a good job. More, more people have been really uh, into the band now than, than really before. And especially musicians, uh, generations of punk rockers, uh, just a lot of people have, you know, really come to appreciate what the band is all about. And uh, it's really, uh, it makes us feel good. We were just wishing more of those people were around when we started. The batting cage really, really doesn't have much to do with, with my rock and roll career. It's just something that I can, you know, I could leave. I'm not, you know, I'm not punching a card in. And uh, I just love baseball. I, I totally love baseball. I really do. I, I have some people. Are you, you're not. You're not that. You're not raw. I mean, you know, you didn't start that band, man. Or you weren't from the dictators. You know, so I've been playing for a long time. So people, you know, I saw you in 1986. I saw you at Lemoore's, and I saw you at. But uh, you will get that a lot. A lot of fans. There's the fans all over the place. So I have a new band. It's called Ross the Boss, and uh, they're they're from Germany. And we've just released two al albums in, in, in three years. The last one came out in November. And we're booking, a t we're booking festivals for the summer. We've got a whole bunch of stuff and a tour in the fall. And I just keep going. And it's just an honor to play and it's an honor to, to entertain people. And what can I say? I just love playing. And uh, when, it's time to when it's time to stop, I'll know when it's time to stop. It it'll tell me.